Honorable Prime Minister, Sayın Hanımefendi, Mrs. Sare Davutoğlu, Deputy Prime Minister and our ministers, OECD Secretary General Anhel Guria, W20 delegates, distinguished guests. It's a, indeed a big pleasure for me to be with you this morning at the W20 official launch event and to welcome you all to Ankara. At the outset, I would like to thank the W20 Presidency for their efforts in preparing this important inaugural meeting. With the support of the G20 members, they have done a very good job of bringing together a very representative network of individuals and organizations from across many G20 countries. As one of the nine female Sherpas who are part of the G20 process, I must confess that I take a certain personal pride and satisfaction today in participating in this inaugural event. Thank you. As you all know, G20 engagement groups play an important role in supporting the G20 agenda by providing us with a steady stream of fresh ideas and recommendations to help guide our decision making. However, I should be frank to say that at the beginning of the year, there were some questions on the part of some members of the G20 members to create a new engagement group. While everyone agreed on the importance of gender-inclusive economic growth, there were some diverging views as to whether a new standalone engagement group was needed. To convince my colleagues around the Sherpa table, and this should not come as a surprise to you, I first ask the support and the recommendations of other female Sherpas. We explained to G20 members that women's interest would remain represented in all areas of the <coughs> G20 work, and then W20 will not be a repository of women issues, but rather a platform to help us mainstream gender inclusiveness across the G20 agenda. I'm happy that our message was well received by the membership and we were able to take the decision to establish W20 at our Sherpa Izmir meeting in late March. I take this opportunity to reiterate my thanks to all fellow, my fellow Sherpas and the G20 members for their support. Since our Izmir meeting, we have been working hard with W20 Turkey to lay a solid foundation to guide the work of this new engagement group in the years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, the presence of our Prime Minister here today shows clearly our government's commitment to the Women 20 as a full-fledged G20 engagement group. I would like to express our gratitude to our President as well for his unwavering support and encouragement throughout this process. The strong support of our leaders was an important contribution to our success in establishing the W20 this year. As you all know, Promoting gender-inclusive growth is a shared objective of, for the G20. Last year, we adapted to reduce the gender gap by 25% by 2025. And delivering this goal and bringing 100 million women into the labor force by 2025 will be a real achievement for all of us. It will be a boost global growth to global growth and support of, for our development efforts. That's why this year we have put in place a robust accountability mechanism to help us monitor our progress in meeting the gender goal. In fact, as the new engagement group, uh, maybe this is a very important message I want to give, you have the power, in fact, to hold the G20 accountable for all its 
promises. You have this power. <laughs> we are confident that you, the W20, will reflect on issues of great importance for women and our economies in a comprehensive and creative manner to formulate your recommendations to the G20. At the Antalya summit in November, I am sure our leaders will be listening carefully and paying special attention to your proposals and recommendations. I thank you all and wish you a productive meeting.